All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into this official 3.0 overview video. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is just talk to you a little bit about the email side of uh, Sendio. Now, as you can see, uh, we do have every single aspect of messaging marketing built into Sendio. We have email, mobile and social. All right. And we also have our new hybrid sequences, uh, which we do talk about in the uh, what's new in 3.0 video, which is on this page as well. Um, but this pretty much allows you to combine each and every one of uh, these type of messages uh, into one sequence so that your subscribers uh, can uh, get your messages, email, text or uh, social messages uh, in variation in your sequences. All right. Uh, but let me go ahead and jump into this. And the beautiful part about Send You as well is that it allows you to get up and running as quickly as possible. Uh, without uh, having to wait around too much. Okay, so if you already have an existing email list, all you got to do is come to the email tab, hit add list, and you'll be able to import your list within a matter of minutes inside of Sendio and start uh, sending your uh, promotional emails to that list right away. All right, so all you have to do at this point is just name your list. So we'll put name demo. You'd like, you can add a short description as well if you wanted to. Okay, usually what I do here is if this list uh, particularly uh, is getting something for free or comes from a specific product or a specific affiliate promotion, uh, I describe it here just so I know what they're interested in. Okay, we do have three ways that you can send your, uh, have your messages delivered to your subscribers as well. So you can connect your own SMTP account. Uh, which you are getting a free bonus training during this 3.0 launch that shows you exactly how to connect your SMTP account to Sendio uh, in the easiest and fastest way possible uh, without needing any technical experience. So we walk you through that. Uh, we also have uh, our third party mail service integration. So we have just about every major uh, SMTP provider out there. Uh, integrated into Sendio. So that makes it easy for you to connect uh, a third party SMTP as well. And then we have our Sendio Elite account, uh, which is an exclusive uh, private uh, option that we have where you can connect to our servers, but we open that up very rarely. Uh, but th those are the three options that uh, you have. Uh, but once you select the option that you want, you just go ahead and select the account that you've added to our platform. So you do do that beforehand. And we have tutorial videos that show you how to do that. Uh, but from here, you can go ahead and copy and paste your emails here. That's one option that you have to add your emails, or you can also uh, export your list from whichever autoresponder you currently have, and then bring it over here to the import tab. Now we do accept just about every export file out there. Okay. So long as it has an email column in that file, uh, Sendio should be able to read that as well as all of the other uh, fields that you have inside of that file. Okay, we also do have a cool feature that we've added here that allows you to remove inactive subscribers automatically so that you can keep your list clean. Okay, so you can see here that you can uh, do from however many months uh, that someone no longer opens your emails from, you can start removing them. So usually a good metric is about three months. So if someone hasn't opened your emails for three months, it's a good chance that uh, you can pretty much consider them an inactive subscriber. Uh, so we've built this in to uh, be able to keep your uh, list uh, healthy and you can also uh, consider them uh, an inactive subscriber if they haven't opened a certain amount of emails as well. So it can be uh, not just a time uh, issue, but how many emails you're sending them. So if you've sent someone 30 emails and they haven't opened a single one, you can consider them an inactive subscriber. They just haven't unsubscribed. Okay. Uh, and you can also consider them uh, an inactive subscriber if they haven't clicked on any links in your emails. Okay. Because that's another thing you want people that are actually engaging with your email. So if they haven't uh, clicked on any links inside of your emails, you can choose to remove them as well. Okay. So these are some pretty cool automated features in here that we have. Now we have some additional automation built into here that allows you to uh, do some very cool things. So uh, if you have these uh, options selected, you can either move them to a separate list for re-engagement, or you can just go ahead and delete them right away. 
Okay, so uh, an, a cool option is to maybe move them to a separate list to start re-engaging them. And maybe once they do start re-engaging, you can move them back to an active list, okay? Um, and here's where you can choose to put them into uh, whichever list you have into uh, built into your uh, autoresponder uh, that is your inactive list, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now, okay? Uh, and then down here, uh, you could start add, adding additional fields if you wanted to as well. So if you have, uh, you know, if these subscribers are from a specific country, specific city or whatever it is, you could start adding different uh, fields here as well. Uh, the list opt-in mode, we do have normal, which is single, uh, uh, single subscription or double opt-in, which means that they do have to confirm their um, uh, subscription to you. Uh, and you can have it be either uh, on form subscriptions only. So if you're going to be using uh, our forms option to collect emails, you can do it that. Or if you're going to be do using both where you are adding emails and using a form, you can make sure that every single person that you add to this list is going to receive that confirmation email. Uh, and we do have a custom uh, confirmation template built into here. Okay. Uh, and then you can set that up down here. All right. Uh, and then here you certify that you do have permission to email those subscribers. Okay. Because, uh, although we are, um, uh, affiliate marketing and marketer friendly, we are not spam friendly. So if you're going to, if you're thinking that you're going to be using Sendio to import a list that you do not have permission to email, then please just don't purchase Sendio because you will get automatically blocked. If we do see you doing that, uh, you do have to select an unsubscribe option as well. This is mandatory. No matter what, uh, autoresponder you're using, you do have to give your uh, subscribers the option to be able to unsubscribe. Uh, but once you're done setting up your list, all you got to do is hit create. And now that list has been created. Okay. Now you can start, uh, sending emails to that list, uh, using either our broadcast feature down here or our sequences feature over here. Okay. So that, uh, allows you to, uh, immediately start, uh, profiting from your list. All right. And as you can see, this list has been successfully created. So now let me come over here to the broadcast tab and let me show you some additional, uh, things that we have here. All right. I do have a saved, uh, draft here from a, a previous video that I was making showing our artificial intelligence that we built into here. Uh, which is another cool feature that you can see that we do have automated saving of your uh, messages when you're in here working so that you can ensure that uh, you know your work isn't lost if you do step away and you can see that message there that it does save every 30 seconds okay but here once you have uh once you're here on the broadcast page you have the name of the of the broadcast the subject line which we do now have the ability to have um AI write that for you and you can see more about that in the uh, what's new in 3.0 video how the AI works uh, but here you can select multiple lists select so like that demo list that we just made and here we also have some additional options that we've built in so now you can exclude specific lists so if you are emailing people who are customers and you want to exclude people who are not customers, you can do that or vice versa. You can also exclude specific tags. So we do not have an entire tagging system inside of Sendio. So uh, this can work hand in hand with what I showed you previously, where you can automatically remove inactive subscribers to a new list and then you can tag them right away and then you can ensure that uh, anytime you are uh, emailing your active subscribers you are excluding your inactive subscribers so that you're not getting that overlap and you get the maximum open rates with your uh, active subscribers okay uh, and then here you can s select to have uh, a specific amount of emails sent per day so you can do that there all right. And then down here, you can save whichever um, message you have here. Once you're done formatting it the way that you want, you can save it as a template and you can always load it back as a template. Uh, here you have available fields that are collected when you're using our uh, form features. So one cool update that we have in 3.0 is the ability to collect your subscribers geolocation. Uh, so you can see here, we have the country available. We have the city available. Uh, so if you did want to personalize your messages based on location, you can do that. Okay. We have our ad block feature here, which I do 
uh, cover that in the what's new in 3.0 features, but that pretty much allows you to monetize your uh, options, uh, your emails even more. We have our entire tagging system built into here. Uh, we have our automatic uh, resend option that is one of our upgrade features, which allows you to come in here and automatically have send your email. Anyone who doesn't open this initial email, you can have uh send you send uh, an additional follow-up email later on in the day and have it all done automatically and again this is one of our upgrade features all other autoresponders out there make you do this manually we've automated it so that you can do it all in one setup when you're coming in here and setting up a broadcast campaign uh, another cool thing that we have here is the ability to auto translate your uh, emails to uh, any language so again if you are uh emailing uh, subscribers from a specific area, then you can uh, make sure that uh, it is translated to the language that they understand best. Okay, but from here, you just hit create. Uh, well, you can also um, schedule your uh, campaign to be sent immediately or schedule it for the future. Uh, and then you just hit create and that gets sent uh, in whatever schedule that you want. Okay, so that's uh, a quick overview of the uh, email sections. And then pretty much you can have uh, do the same thing, exactly the same thing for the um, uh, SMS text section. So uh, it, it works exactly the same. The only thing is that you are now doing that uh, with an email. So you can, uh, excuse me, with uh, text messages and ringless voicemails. Okay. So you, all you got to do is add your list exactly how you would with an email. Uh, you can also set up forms to collect SMS uh, forms, uh, uh, SMS uh, lists. Okay. And then here we have the ringless voicemail box. So once the list is created, all this uh, other, uh, these other options work exactly the same. Okay. Uh, and then we also have our calling feature, which allows you to make live calls uh, inside of our platform. We have our automated uh, SMS replies system so that if someone does reply to your broadcast with a specific keyword, then you have some automated uh, replies that get sent to them. All right. Uh, and then we have our social uh, options here where you can set up automated Instagram uh, messaging, automatic Facebook messaging and automatic Twitter messaging. Okay. So we have uh, every single aspect covered when it comes to messaging and being uh, able to profit from your different lists. So you can make money using Sendio with email marketing, with uh, text message marketing, with bring this voicemails, uh, with Instagram messaging, Facebook messaging, and Twitter direct messaging as well. And again, I will have separate uh, videos for each, uh, so each, for each one of these right below this video, uh, since as you can see, we have so many features built into Sendio that it, it will literally take me hours to go through every single little aspect that we have built into here. So make sure that you do go below this video and I'll have separate videos that break down email even more, that break down uh, the uh, mobile aspects of everything and the social aspects of everything and all of our agency features as well, which I didn't even get a chance to, ch to touch on. Uh, but pretty much this allows you to run uh, messaging campaigns on behalf of your clients without having to compromise any of their uh, lists because you can keep everything separate inside of these different group options and have sub users uh, do that for you as well. So very powerful 3.0 opening. We continue to make Sendio even better. We've been around since 2019 and every update that we do is not only based on features that uh, we are needing ourselves since we do use this on a daily basis in our own business, but all of our uh, valued customers that uh, rely on Sendio to get their messages delivered. They submit suggestions on how we can improve our platform and we continue to make it better. So make sure you do take advantage of this 3.0 opening uh, and get this discount and make sure that you put the power of Sendio 3.0 in your arsenal.